The Bulletarian is a technological marvel. It can reach speeds of up to an incredible 330 kilometers an hour and has transported around 10 billion people since the day of its creation. If you're looking for a quick way to travel across Japan, the bullet train is your best bet. But we won't be able to say this in the coming years because Japan is creating the world's fastest passenger train, a system that will go twice as fast as present bullet trains and reduce trip times in half. And how will this new train accomplish this? Let's find out in today's video. The train in question is called a maglev train. We think this is a new technology, but that can't be further from the truth. In fact, Central Japan Railway and the Railway Technical Research Institute began envisioning maglev trains in the 1970s as a method to move people faster and more efficiently. Even the name comes from the joining of the words magnetic and levitation. Theoretically speaking, using magnetic repulsion, maglev trains can travel at speeds of up to 1200 miles per hour. The train's levitation is handled by the EDS or Electrodynamic Suspension System. It works like this. Electromagnets are formed by two sets of cross-connected metal coils twisted in figure 8 configuration on the rails. There are superconducting electromagnets known as bogies on the train itself. Rubber wheels keep the train in place while it's halted. As the train goes ahead on these wheels, the magnets underneath it interact with those of the guideway, resulting in the train's movement. Magnetic forces are powerful enough to raise the train 100 millimeters or 4 inches off the ground at speeds of 150 kilometers an hour, 93 miles per hour. As the train rises, it's propelled ahead by the same magnetic forces that elevate it, resulting in a smooth ride and an exceedingly safe train. So these new trains will float 10 centimeters above the ground thanks to magnetic levitation, which eliminates the friction caused by contact with the rails. Interestingly, the track itself controls the trains rather than a driver, which the company claims reduce the likelihood of crashes and accidents. But why would you need such high-speed trains when you already have bullet trains? Well, the bullet train rail route has been plagued by long delays, soaring prices, and an intense environmental dispute. The world is now waiting to see whether the project will succeed in hovering above its hurdles and making a quantum leap in transportation or if it proves to be a step too far. You see, Japan has a fair amount of experience with trains. In 1959, Japan built the world's first high-speed rail link between Tokyo and Osaka, the Tokaido Shinkansen. There were many who doubted Japanese government investment in rail back then, believing it would soon become obsolete in a new age of freeways and air transport. It actually played a huge part in making it one of the biggest economies in the world. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. For Tokyo's first Olympic Games, the city built its first high-speed rail line in October 1964. And since then, there's been a significant reduction in travel time between Tokyo and Osaka, with the journey being completed in two and a half hours thanks to the bullet trains. But with the new maglev technology, it will take only 67 minutes to travel the same distance. And this is just what Japan wants. In 2009, the maglev system was authorized and put into commercial use and construction and the Chuo Shinkansen line started. For context, flying or traveling the current Tokaido line, accessible with the Japan Rail Pass, takes an hour and a half longer than the anticipated 40 minute travel time. Shinagawa, Sagamihara, Kofu, Lida, and Nakatsugawa are all included in the planned route. Original plans for the maglev train were to have it travel from Tokyo to Osaka in less than an hour. The Chu Shinkansen trains will have a maximum speed of 500 kph, although a test run in 2015 achieved the world record speed of 603 kph. There have been plans for the Tokyo to Nagoya Railway to open in 2027. After that project is completed, construction on a second connection connecting Tokyo and Osaka will commence, with an anticipated completion date of 2037. The Chu Shinkansen will be 90% subterranean slicing across the southern alps unlike the current japanese bullet trains whose tracks follow the coast in all the 285 kilometer route will include 256 kilometers of tunnels maglev trains perform better when they move in a straight line and tunneling under the mountains avoids japan's more earthquake prone coast to accomplish this japan has ended up excavating some of the deepest tunnels they've ever seen even in shizuoka prefecture where the river is an important supply of drinking water, tunneling has prompted environmental concerns. 
Although environmental studies have determined that the danger of altering the basin is minor, local governments have criticized these assessments for being insufficient and rushed. During the June 2021 Shizuoka governor's election, he campaigned on the platform opposing the Chu Shinkansen and was victorious. The cost of the project has soared from $13.7 billion to a whopping $64 billion, making it one of the costliest mega projects ever undertaken. Many Japanese consumers are beginning to doubt the new line's value due to its expensive price tag. Maglev trains in Japan do have certain downsides. Even though they will be more costly to operate, you might argue that this would lead to higher economic development as a result of their increased energy use. Smaller carriages also mean that they won't be able to carry as many people or go as often. Another thing of note here is that every three minutes, traditional bullet trains go from Tokyo to Osaka, but in the case of the Maglev, there will be only one train every 10 minutes due to the longer times it takes to swap tracks. Japan's train businesses have also profited from exporting their technology to other countries in the past. However, China has emerged as a notable new contender after the introduction of the first bullet train in 1964. Two-thirds of the world's high-speed rail network is located in this nation, making it the king of the high-speed rail world. China is developing its own version of maglev, despite the fact that none of its intercity lines is maglev. There was an attempt to beat Japan's record in July 2021 when it tested a maglev train that hit 600 kph. As opposed to the four and a half hours it takes by plane, China's train could potentially go from Beijing to Shanghai in three and a half hours. As the rest of the developed world tries to catch up with regular high-speed rail, China has no need to purchase Japanese technology. In order to complete this maglev line 10 years ahead of schedule, why was the government willing to lend JR Central the money to do so? The answer is simple. Cho Shinkansen might help connect the area between Tokyo and Osaka, creating a commutable distance between the two main Japanese cities. China's Pearl River Delta and Jingjinji area are being methodically transformed into megacities, or megalopolises, using the strategically placed infrastructure. Similarly, northeastern United States, from Washington DC to Boston, is seeing a blurring of the distinctions between its cities. In Western Europe, the situation is the same. Creating economic powerhouses on a scale we've never seen before might be achieved by merging huge cities, which is exactly what Japan is hoping for. It was really in the 1960s that maglev train ideas really came into people's minds, and the world's first and so far only commercial maglev line has been in service since 2004, connecting Shanghai's city center with its airport. Using superconducting magnets, the Central Japan Railway Company, or JR Central, has simply modernized this technology. The maglev may hold the existing world records, but it'll face competition from other technologies. A maglev line between New York and Washington has been proposed by Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who wants to sell the technology to the US. But they really don't need it because Elon Musk is revolutionizing train travel with his upcoming Hyperloop trains, which might travel at speeds of up to 700 miles an hour between Los Angeles and San Francisco in the US. The Chuo Shinkansen maglev line now holds the high-speed dreams of Japanese inhabitants and visitors alike, but we'll have to wait and see who ends up on top. So there you have it folks, did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to Maywell Finder so that we can keep making such amazing videos for you. Thank you for watching.